I'm at it, Matt, you take me out. Yeah. Hello, this is Julia Whitup with Talk Story TV and the Creative Journal and I Journey. And I have with me this morning John McGrail. Is that the right way to pronounce it, John? It is. Okay, and he's going to talk to us about his new process. Tell us tell us something about it. Well, actually the process isn't new. I think it's just the way it's put together. Uh, I call it synthesis or neurosynthesis. And essentially, it's a methodology that leverages the power of the conscious, cognitive, logical mind, that part of the mind that we're all so used to using and that we think gives us so much control. And what is really the much more powerful, subtle, subconscious, spiritual mind in a way that helps people create change and transformation in their lives quickly and profoundly. I began. Uh, this as a clinical hypnotherapist and hypnosis is a big part of this process but over the years it evolved as I incorporated more and more spiritual practices into it uh, until I got this uh, aha moment and said hey wait a second there's something going on here because my clients are getting better much more quickly than they used to and it became the the basis of my doctoral dissertation and eventually a book the synthesis effect and so that's kind of how it happened. But it's really, really cool because I'm taking models, techniques, methods, and traditions that have been in use for thousands of years and also some of the, the knowledge that's coming from the, the most cutting edge scientific experiments to, to really help people understand how and why they get messed up, because we all do. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then what the tools are that, that can help us undo that and then, of course, a process, a very powerful process through which to use those tools. So that's really what the synthesis process is about. Okay. So how, um, how does the hypnosis come into it? I, I do some hypnosis, too, so I'm wondering about that. Well, it's really a big part of it. Hypnosis is a natural state of consciousness, and most people don't realize it, but we all do it every single day. Uh, when we daydream, when we watch a good movie and we're feeling emotion, we are essentially in a hypnotic trance. And as it happens, it's a very powerful state of consciousness because it creates a very open and receptive state of mind. We become what we call very suggestible to new information, new habits, new patterns. All the, all the habits, patterns, limiting beliefs, and negativity that sort of hold us back in life are learned. No one's born with that. And essentially what we say with hypnosis is that we help the subconscious mind unlearn those old habits, patterns, and limiting beliefs, and then behaviors, and then we reteach it or reprogram it, because it does act very much like a computer, the new ones. And hypnosis is sort of like the key that unlocks the door. That's the easiest way to describe it. And then with the other tools and techniques, we not only make that change, then we maintain it, because that's the key. Yes, isn't it? It sure is. <laughs> Can you um, work with procrastination with that? Well, you know, it's really interesting. Yes, and very powerfully. The problem with procrastination is that, and I've had this happen hundreds of times over the years, someone will call and say, look, I have a procrastination problem. I want to come in. I'll say, okay, give me a call when you're ready. And then they, don't <laughs> <laughs> they never call, right? <laughs> they never call. But if they do call and I can get them into the office, uh, then it works really, really well. Because procrastination is, is essentially caused by either a fear of success or a fear of failure, very often both, operating at the same time. And you can just imagine with that bracket, fear of failure, fear of success, there's nowhere to go. So if right. I just stay where I am, I don't have to deal with any of it. And, and that's really the root cause of it. And as I mentioned, very, very often, it's, it's both fears operating at the same time, which keeps us trapped. And so we do nothing. And that's why it's so difficult to get procrastinators in the office because, or, or they come in for one session, then they realize that things are going to change and then they run away. But yes, it's very powerful for virtually anything that is not a psychosis or a mental illness or doesn't involve brain damage of some sort. Uh, hypnotherapy and, and the synthesis process really works across human behavior. It really does. Wow, great. Um, well, what, what's this? Tell me more about psychosis. What do you mean? 
Well, psychosis being a severe mental in illness, like schizophrenia, for instance, would be a, what would be called a psychotic disease where people really aren't in their right mind. Okay. Uh, th this process is, is for what we would call the worried well of the world, which is 85% of us <laughs> and our problems. And I do work with uh, certain diagnosed conditions like uh, um, anxiety disorder and, and clinical depression. But because I am not a licensed psychotherapist, nor do I want to be, uh, to work on a diagnosed medical or psychogenic condition, I need to get a written okay from someone that does have a license. And most practitioners in this day and age are very well aware of the fact that uh, this is a very safe process, number one, and it can't do any harm. All it can do is help. Mm -hmm. okay. Because it's a natural state of consciousness. And that's just the hypnosis part of it, of course. But it's a very, very big part of it and a very powerful tool. And what are some of the other parts of the process? Well, I, I incorporate a lot of spiritual practice in it, uh, meditative techniques and, and um, elements of philosophies from Native Americans to, to Buddhists, um, and uh, as well as a, a process called Neuro Linguistic Programming, which many people have probably heard of, NLP which is essentially a very, very long term for a very simple process that helps us understand how and why we behave and communicate the way we do. If you understand the how and why of something, it makes it a lot easier to repair it if, if there's something wrong with it. For instance, uh, the metaphor I use all the time and, uh, is that you know if your car starts to, to bang or ping or cling or run rough or backfire, if you know how the engine works, how the different systems of the engine, the intake, man, the fuel system, and, 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 the, and the lubrication, if you know how all that works, it's much easier to troubleshoot and fix it. If you don't know how it works, even if you get the best tool set in the world, what are you going to do? And so um, NLP is a very powerful tool set for helping us understand how we do things, why we do things. Uh, in order to get through our lives. So it's, it's really a big combination uh, and, and it all fits very nicely together. I've also got some techniques that, that I've developed that are sort of proprietary, I guess, because I do them and I've, I, I invented them, if you will, really sort of picking and choosing from other people's work and putting them together in a certain way. Uh, but it all comes together to synthesize A Better You, which is the name of my company, A Better You Incorporated. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Well, what are, can you tell us a story? Tell us a little story about someone who, who was successful with your method. Well, there's so many, it's really hard to choose one, but um, one of my favorites is, is uh, a young woman who came to me with, with a, a really visceral fear of commitment. And she had met a lot of uh, very nice men. And, and every time things started to get serious or there was some inkling that it was going to go further than just casual, she would run away. And uh, within six weeks, I think it was about five or six sessions, uh, we figured out what was going on and uh, shifted her energy. And now she's happily married with three little kids and, and, and doing beautifully in life. So that, that's just one. And there are, you know, thousands of others. I've helped over a thousand people, you know, the things that hypnotherapists are known for quit smoking and lose weight. But I've had people lose over a hundred pounds after two sessions of this. So it really is very effective if the client is motivated right. and, and is willing to do the work. A lot of people think it's magic because it happens so quickly, but there is work involved and uh, it does take commitment. You have to really want to make the change which is again uh if you're a procrastinator and you're you're bracketed by two fears it's kind of tough you want it but you're afraid to actually do something yeah and you wrote a book about this didn't you i did it's called the synthesis effect and the book essentially presents my methodology um it's uh i sound immodest saying this but it work. it seems to work really well you have a an idea and a purpose when you write a book, of course, the proof is in the pudding, but the people who've read it, uh, the reviews are fabulous. And I get still get emails, uh, you know, all the time saying, you know, this book finally helped me understand. I've read every self help book in the world and I finally get it. So it, it does present the process and it, it shares many stories along the way 
uh, of, of real people like you and me, uh, because I don't consider myself a guru. I'm a regular guy that just found a way to make my life better. And then I've, 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 you know, felt responsible to share it with others. So I share stories of real clients, real people along the way who have used this for a variety of different reasons while I'm presenting the process and you actually start doing the process on page one. So it's, it's sort of really cool. And it, it presents, as I mentioned, understanding the tools and then how to use them, but you're actually doing it from the minute you start the book. Oh, really? Uh, so you can do it yourself with the book? Yes. Now, everybody not necessarily will get exactly what they want with the book alone. I mean, I, I wish I could say that this book is going to solve all your problems. Mm -hmm. uh, and it has for many, many people. Many people are able to take the models and take the techniques. None of it's hard and put the commitment in themselves. But a lot of people do need a little extra help. They need that one-on-one -on -one, uh, connection, whether it's with me in the office or remotely. Because, you know, as here we are, you're in Colorado, I'm in California. Technology is an amazing thing. I've got clients all over the world that I see every week uh, with technology. But some people need that connection. They, they, they need a, a sort of a guide, a coach, yeah. if you will, uh, to get through it. But, but whether they do it on their own, uh, and, and in the book, I help people find that professional help if they need it. There's a whole appendix that just sort of guides a person into the search for someone. Um, because I may not be the best choice for everybody. I like to think I am. Of course, we all would. But uh, uh, it, it does really work very, very well. And many, many, many people, thousands of readers uh, over the, the past few years since the book has been out, uh, have written that their lives have changed drastically. I, I actually have a synthesis challenge, and I, I say this to all the viewers. If you buy my book and read it and follow the process exactly the way it's laid out, and it's not hard, but it does take commitment. If you do the process for 30 days and you don't feel your life changing, send me proof of purchase and I'll refund your money. Okay, and where can people buy the book? Thank you for asking. Uh, it's available now on Amazon and barnesandnoble.com in both paperback and uh, ebook. It's, it's had its first run in the stores and, you know, uh, bookstores cycle books through. Um, and so until we have the second printing, it probably won't be back in stores because with the second printing will be a new cover, and what they do. And I don't know uh, when that's going to happen or if it's even going to happen, but I, it's looking that way. So uh, Amazon or barnesandnoble.com paperback. Uh, and or Nook or uh, what's the other one? Uh, Kindle. Mm -hmm. I'm not. I'm not real familiar with those platforms because I still like to hold a book in my hands myself. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And how can they get a hold of you if they want to just go straight to you? Well, thank you. I am available uh, through either of my websites: uh, www.hypnotherapylosangeles.com. All one word. I know it's big, but you can't forget it. Hypnotherapylosangeles.com, which is more geared toward uh, my hypnotherapy practice. Uh, and, and although the, there's a lot of synthesis. And then drjohnmcgrail.com is the other website, uh, which is currently being redesigned. So if you go there and it's a little clunky, it's because we're working on it. Um, and on my websites are my email address and my telephone numbers. And, and uh, people can reach out to me via email or telephone or text. Uh, well, no, you, you don't get my cell number until you reach me through my office. Okay. But I do answer everybody personally. I don't have my, my staff do, do not answer emails. I have an answering service that, that answers the phone, but then I get a direct message. And if people reach out, uh, they have questions or they're at, at all interested in the possibility of working with me or, or doing this process, they will get a personal response always. Okay. All right. Well, do you have anything else you want to tell us this morning? No, I'm delighted that you invited me here. Thank you so very, very much. It's really cool to meet you. And um, I'm, I notice you have a, a piece of art behind you on the wall. It's an, is that Native American? Um, oh, yes, it is. Yes. Well, there's, there's an awful lot of Native American philosophy incorporated into the synthesis process. I'm a huge fan of native philosophies in general, but since our native Americans are right here, they're the, it's the easiest culture to study. And you know, it's interesting, the tribal cultures of the world, 
millennia ago, were separated by vast geographies, didn't even know one another existed. And if you scratch the surface of what I call their, their uh, cultural semantics, sort of the, the idiosyncratic uh, rituals and whatnot that the given tribe did, underneath the core of their philosophy, all of these peoples around the globe is almost identical. And they lived in, in great energetic balance with themselves and with the earth and the universe. And the synthesis process really is about establishing and integrating dynamic balance between the physical, emotional, and spiritual realms, if you will. That, the, there are three parts of us. And I incorporate an incredible amount of native philosophy into the process. Which right. I think, yeah, yeah, I think that's why most people get, uh, do so well so quickly because hypnosis has been in use for 7,000 years. Meditation has been in use for 7,000 years. And when you, you, when you combine it with that basic philosophy of balance, it's amazing how quickly your life can change and how quickly you begin, what I like to say, living the life of your dreams instead of the one you thought you were stuck with, which is really what I like to do. Rule number one in my methodology, life is supposed to be fun. And I like to think that I help people find their fun, whatever that is. All right. Thanks so much for being with us today. Well, thank you, Julia, for the inv invitation. Uh, and again, I invite anyone that's out there that's vaguely interested to reach out, give me a call, send me an email. You'll get an answer back. And if I can help you on your way or if I can help you uh, as a client, I would be delighted to do that. All right. We can will you take care now. And you joined our group, The Creative Journey. Is that yes? Correct? Okay, so we I all your emails. We'll we'll see you there. Okay, Thanks. sounds great, Julia. Bye bye. Bye.